Japanese Texas Kitchen. Today we're going to make some southern boiled custard. It's like eggnog but it doesn't have any nutmeg in it. So it's a really thick custardy drink and my husband loves it so I'm going to make some today. Um, as you can see we're ready for Christmas around here. We only got about three and a half weeks till it's here. So for this recipe what you're going to need is a bain marie so I have a pot with water in it and I put my bowl over it so like a double boiler and I'm going to put um, four cups of milk in to my bowl here and I just have my water in my pot filled up maybe halfway or so and it's just to help you heat your milk up gently without it scalding or anything like that by having too much heat. So you can heat it up slower. So the next thing that we need is five eggs. We're gonna need one cup of sugar and one teaspoon of vanilla. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my heat to like a medium high level for now. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and gently beat my eggs to mix them all together. Now that I've got those beaten really well, I'm gonna mix in my sugar to my eggs. Mix that together really well. All right, now I have my sugar and egg mixture mixed together while I wait for my milk to heat up. Once my milk heats up, I'm going to use this little measuring cup and I'm going to scoop some of the milk, hot, the hot milk out and put it over here and mix it together here to warm these eggs and sugar up. And then I'm going to take this and transfer it back over here with the rest of the milk. And then we'll gently, we'll stir it constantly while we gently heat it until it gets thick enough to coat the back of the spoon. And then we'll add the vanilla because that means it's done. And then we'll stir it up, and then I've got my container I'm gonna put it in over here. And you store it in the refrigerator for several days, and you can drink it like a custardy beverage. It's really good, it's like liquid ice cream. All right, so we'll be back as soon as our milk gets hot. All right, y'all, our milk is hot. So we're gonna take a little bit of it and scoop it over into our egg and sugar mixture and mix it up. So I did about a cup of the hot milk, and then I'm going to beat it with this. Mix it all together in there. Alright, now we're going to take the egg, milk, and sugar mixture and put it back into our milk mixture over here on the stove. In there. Now we cook it and stir it constantly until it starts to thicken slightly and coat the back to where it'll coat the back of our wooden spoon. So like when I pick it up, it'll stay on there. Okay. Shouldn't take too long because the milk's hot. So we're going to just stand here and cook it and stir it. And we'll be back whenever it's ready. All right, y'all. Our boiled custard has finished. I added the eggs and the sugar. And now it's done. It's thicker than it was. So I'm going to add some vanilla. One teaspoon of vanilla. Mm. 
<clears throat> Stir that in real good. I did add one, end up adding one tablespoon of cornstarch just to help it thicken up a little bit more. And so it is done. Now it's just a matter of putting it into our container and, and chilling it. But you can still go ahead and taste it and see how good it is. So let's do that. Mmm, that's perfect. If y'all like my video, making boiled custard the southern old-fashioned way, please like my video, share it with others, subscribe to my channel, and please go back and watch my other videos. And be on the lookout for more upcoming videos that we're going to do for the holidays, like dressing, southern-style cornbread dressing, um, green bean casserole, things like that that we all like to eat. Maybe even some old fashioned Southern candy sweet potato. Appreciate y'all watching my videos. We'll see y'all next time in Nene's Texas Kitchen.